Who is S2P Africa? Science to Product Africa Initiative is a response to the failure of 60 years of tertiary education in engineering and many years of engineering practice in transforming pre-industrial societies, particularly in Africa, as we transit from the industrial age to the information age. As teenage engineering students in the 70s, the promise made to us was that it's our generation that was going to build Abuja. We were so proud of ourselves and we were looking up to this promise. But many of you would know that it was another unfulfilled promise because we were not the ones that built Abuja. It was Gilles Berger and a host of foreign companies that built Abuja. But why? Well, at S2P Africa, we take this question seriously. We note that early generations of engineering students were taught by Nigerian graduates of MIT, Imperial College, McGill, Oxford, Cornell, Waterloo, and what have you, using curricula and syllabi adapted from those institutions. But we noticed that the industrial days taken for granted by these curricula and syllabi were not available in our own circumstances. Hence, for us, industrial training and industrial work experience became essentially ritualistic. Fortunately, however, today, modern business models of software as service have made powerful software and hardware available to our students. But the system has not taken due account of this. But we now know we can now simulate laboratories. We can uh, uh, try to simulate also industrial situations in the virtuality of computer memory. And our students get a bit of respite from this. At this stage, I must thank the IDRC of Canada for believing in our vision and making the funding to make this uh, vision a reality available. We also acknowledge the supervisory role of the Nigerian Academy of Engineering. At S2P Africa, we make engineering students and the new crop of engineers vitally aware that regardless of whatever training they might have had or might not have received even though they were supposed to have, their role in society remains that of developing products, processes, goods, and services, which we refer to in S2P Africa as the PPGS philosophy. These are the things that impact society. We make them realize that PPGS can be productively achieved only by using relevant and appropriate theory guided by practice. We create in them the mindset that whenever they perceive problems that can yield to engineering solutions in society, Theirs is the responsibility to fashion out and create innovative solutions to these problems. Whenever they encounter engineering failure in society, their responsibility is not to pronounce judgments of fake products, but to combine theoretical knowledge of engineering principles with appropriate practical skills to address such failure. We remind them that the purpose of engineering education is not to acquire the title engineer, but for example, to change the reality of fluid mechanics in our societies from one in which women carry large pockets of water on their heads several times in day between streams and homes, but to be able to create systems that take advantage of engineering principles to deliver water into these homes. Above all, we build and offer learning resources and opportunities that can be used by willing engineers to justify the paper tiger qualifications that we easily obtain from our universities. We empower them to solve the engineering problems of society by bringing them together into work groups where they can think, act, and achieve collectively, transforming their environment and impacting their communities positively. That is who we are, Science to Product Africa 
initiative. Thank you very much.